Okay, what is your name? Shauna Swan. And where do you, where do you work? Um, I'm a professor of environmental medicine and public health at the Icahn School of Medicine in New York. And tell me, tell us about your paper. So the new paper that's coming out this week is a paper on sperm decline. And it's similar in format and design to our prior study of sperm decline, but it updates it. So it's basically a continuation of the paper we published in 2017. And it had two main findings, if I remember correctly. The new paper has two main findings. Um, one has to do with the extent of the decline and the other is the Geogra geography of the, of the decline. So the, uh, as far as the extent of the decline, we now see in these most recent seven years an actually more rapid decline than we saw previously. And it's actually kind of dramatic because if you look at the decline from 1972 to the present, that sperm declines at about 1.14% per year. But if you look at the sperm decline after 2000, it's more than double that. So we see from these data at least that there appears to be a speeding up of the decline, which is kind of alarming. And the other thing we found is that now we have data to say something about the decline in countries that were not playing a big role in our earlier study because there weren't enough of them. And those are the studies from South America, Asia, and Africa. And <clears throat> previously we had to say, we don't know about those areas because we didn't have enough data, but now we can say there is a significant decline in what we call unselected men in those countries and those continents. Now, Charlotte, your, the paper doesn't go into what causes this decline. But you've written an entire book on this topic, Countdown. Could you talk to us, speculate a little bit about what what your what other research you've done and you're seeing may uh, speculate or about about what's driving some of this decline? So it's true that the paper does not discuss the cause of the decline. However, we I know from my previous work on pesticides that pesticides are very significantly linked to sperm count or can be. And we know that phthalates affect development in a way that plays out at a lower sperm count when the exposed infant matures and, and begins producing sperm. And in general, we find a number of environmental chemicals, particularly endocrine disrupting chemicals that have the ability to affect the reproductive system in a way that it's decreasing sperm count and fertility. But there are other causes as well, and I don't want to leave those out. There are certainly lifestyle causes, um, such as obesity, stress, alcohol, um, couch potato behavior, binge drinking. All of these things are important. And I just want to add that some of these in lifestyle factors are also influenced by environmental chemicals. For example, obesity is linked to many environmental chemicals. So you can't really separate the lifestyle factors completely from the environmental chemicals and EDCs. So what would you say is the bottom line that you would want a, 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 a dad or a mom or a wannabe parent to take away from this? Well, the message about when these things are most important when these exposures or lifestyle factors are most important is again not covered by the paper but for my previous work i would say that <clears throat> pregnant women and men planning to conceive a pregnancy have a responsibility to protect the reproductive health of the offspring they are creating <laughs>